as helping us with the papers today. Uh, we were just wondering, Dawn, how, uh, how my kids would react if I said, I'm going to buy this enormous house in the country. I found this gorgeous house. It means I'm going to have to take out a mortgage. But don't worry, I'll leave the mortgage to you when I'm gone. I yeah. don't know whether they'd be very pleased I about it. I, yeah. I hadn't even thought that that angle. Sounds like that's a bonkers brilliant. plan. It'll never happen. Well, well page two of the sun today, folks. Um, Bojo's homeowner, Hope. 50-year mortgages passed on to kids. People will be offered extra long 50-year mortgages that can be passed on to their children. Leaders will, uh, lenders even, lenders will be encouraged to let buyers borrow for longer. So, as Anne just said, you can leave them to your kid. This already happens in Japan, where you can get a 100-year mortgage. Mm. And it's part of the, um, the drive to get more home ownership. Because, mm. I mean, so many youngsters these days just can't afford it. I mean, my niece lives in London, she's 24. She's got no chance of being able to afford a property, and her rent is actually more than my mortgage. So it's seen as a, as a plan that actually, although I see it from the parents' point of view, yes. I could leave them a debt. Um, <laughs> they, they, are, they are seeing it as possibly a way of the kids actually inheriting a house. Inheriting Yes, it comes with a mortgage, yeah, so they the, would inherit the, the house. Yes, yeah. yeah, so there's two sides to it. There is the sort of like... Get the asset and the debt. Have it loaded debt. But should also the yeah. house. It's interesting how it's changed because in my day, because I'm a lot older than any of you, uh, my first property was ten thousand pounds, but mine was a flat as well. And in those days, you couldn't get a mortgage on a flat, and they said. Flats will never work. Oh. They used yeah. to say flats will yeah. never work. Yeah. My first yeah. house was twenty-three grand, and I had a, yeah, quite a, a quite a heavy. Yeah, my mortgage. Yeah. yeah, my mortgage was big comparison to, compared to my wages. But the other one of the other things they're talking about trying to get lenders to do is to go back to hundred percent mortgages, and that's the only way we managed to buy our first yeah. flat when we were younger. It was because the the, the building society lent us the entire uh, amount we needed, whereas now you have to have a huge deposit. Yeah. And and trying to save up thousands and of also don't you think the other thing is that people are getting hitched later in life yes. which means that it, a mortgage is affordable if there are two of you in the house yeah. but if you're just thinking of buying it on yeah. your own yeah. it becomes quite difficult yeah. to pay yeah. off or you have yeah. to buy with a group of friends or something yeah. as well don't you a lot of people do that now mm -hmm. yeah no, it's quite it's quite an innovative policy and the whole process of buying a house has been is so old and it like the whole market needs Oh, where well, you buy a yeah, house, it needs country, to get modernised up, doesn't modernized, it? Modernised, yeah. it's it dynamic, and yeah, it takes oh, ages, yes. and, it's just, and it always costs more than you think. Yeah. We're also one of the few countries <laughs> in the world that, in where we have to buy our homes, yeah. many, many countries know, they just rent. Yeah. Sweden, France, they they rent. Yeah, but they what do you no. do when you get to retirement age? Well. It's a way of life, so I suppose they are in that way of life we and financially. Taking out some sort of insurance yes. policy that will pay for that. Yeah, we're investing yeah. your money somewhere else. Um, I, I remember yeah. when I paid my mortgage off, I cried all day and touched my bricks. Yes, my I remember home. the same. And now the, same now the bees thing. have taken over. Now the bees are there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's not go back, go. On back on the bees again, <laughs> yeah. Uh, GBVs at GBNews.UK. Um, Steve Wright. Yep. Um, ah. Has he been axed or has he left? What's the inside? I think he's been, I think he's been axed. Uh, so Steve Rive uh, leaves Radio 2, uh, his show after 23 years. A 67-year-old announced it yesterday. And I think he was a little bit tearful. But he says great news because he's going to be on to a new digital projects for podcasts. I'm sorry, this thing of <laughs> ageism it dreadful. Does. Absolutely stinks. And the now, listeners, Paul, are, listeners are up in yeah. arms about it. Paul O'Grady, uh, they've changed his show mm. uh, to 13 week shows a year. Why mess about? Why do these bosses, I've been a broadcaster for 50 years, why do these bosses come in and think they know better than the presenters? Because you don't. You want to get a life, you stupid morons. How dare you get rid of Steve Wright? It's really, on, really insane. On the other hand, some people don't like Steve Wright. Yeah. But on the other hand, also, hasn't, don't he, like me. hasn't he been incredibly <laughs> lucky to be there for 24 years? He has, but he, he works. Oh, I know he works. Damned hard to good. put his show out. And also, it's a way of life. Once again, they don't understand. It's like closing post office and everything. It becomes part of people's lives. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're losing their best friend. When Hilda Ogden left Coronation Street, my life went into turmoil. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I felt the same uh, way about Ina Shaw. Go on, go on, what? <laughs> what were you going to say, Dawn? I was, just, I was just wondering where the story was. Where, where do we go with this now? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I, think, I think we'd better change completely the subject to yeah. Kate Moss. I, I'm going to read this story out very, very carefully. Indeed, this is in all the papers, but it's our, um, page nine of the mirror I've uh, chosen here. And uh, Kate Moss has landed an 11 million pound deal with Diet Coke. Um, and uh, yeah, and... 
of the, the way the mirror has written this story, I mean, and they've got a, jokers may point out this photo of Kate Moss is a lot more respectable than the last time she was seen in the mirror enjoying some coke. And it's like, allegedly, right, I see. allegedly, allegedly, back in the day, yeah, she was pictured in dubious circumstances. Allegedly, it was, you know, a drug scandal. Um, but now she has, uh, um, she's, she's come back from all that, and this is like, she needs some money, obviously. 11 million pounds, and she is being described as the creative director which means basically and i know she's she's being pictured holding a tin of diet coke does, God, does diet coke need that no, no and I, I just fairly. i worry we're going back to the 80s when you know everything was about oh you must be as thin as kate moss well, uh, and the way to do it is to drink diet coke well there is that i mean there's that that line that supermodels survive literally on on caffeine and yeah. cigarettes and yeah. eat anything so i mean we are you know we're going backwards yeah. i think there. also it's sad that the papers have picked up on allegedly what she did in the past Hey, everyone's got a future. Everyone changes their life around. Yeah. You know, don't go on that. No. Um, but <clears throat> I don't know why Diet Coke is spent or any Coke or Pepsi are spending any money no, on advertising. They own the world already, don't they? Yeah, apparently, uh, I can't remember where I heard this fact, but Coke is the second most recognised word in the world after OK. Wow. Really? Apparently so. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Yes. Gosh, that's that's awful. Made me that's speechless. It's got OK in it. It's like the yeah. size yeah. of I never it's even got thought okay about that. C O K E. So why you need a creative director and eleven million pounds? No, you don't. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, we're giving them far too much publicity, isn't it? Anyway, is. yes. Yeah. But Let's but talk, Pete. Pete. More people are going to pay loads of money. I know. Yeah. Hello. Pete, very quickly, <laughs> private firms uh, yep. hitting drivers with eight point six million parking tickets. Yeah, I will say uh, to everybody out there, you've got to be careful and please be uh, nicer to people we've been in a pandemic stop having to go people in cars let's get some life back into the cities let's get some life back into the shops don't be using these uh, ridiculous amounts of money and the bully tactics to get the money and also to everybody who's got a private piece of land if you can't park there can we have the signs saying it because they're about three inches small yeah. mm. in the corner rip off merchants every one of you we need to help get life back to normal I'd love to say, I own a piece of land, park all you want, all of you. All right, no, I think we need to go... Well, like, please already have a nice glass of Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, of oh, Coca. Uh, not a glass of anything. See, you're pushing Coca-Cola yeah. again. But we've, we've come to the end of our newspaper oh, no. review. I'm so sorry. Oh. I know there's always so much more to talk about. <laughs>